beginning of a new commander. It's Marjorie Tyrell, and as has been before for other commanders, there is the Hero's Awakening event, which is three days. You get specific medals for reaching specific qualities, and if you have her already in gold and you reach specific tiers, you can get tokens and diamonds and random books of wisdom. Also, every day you'll have the turntable and you can spin the wheel, test out your luck and maybe get some free medals or tokens. Depends on the quality that you have her. <coughs> now, let's have a look at her. Let's have a look at her being awakened. I have to click a few buttons to see what she will look like. Her hidden ability effects. <coughs> she will improve your total defense, total health, total attack and research speed. However, I have to say that compared to other commanders, all we can say from here is that what is being added to the total defense, health and attack is less than I've seen with other ones. However, let's have a look at her four star. Thorn of Rose. After casting active army skills, there's a 50% chance to inflict the disarmed status on one lineup of a random enemy male commander. The duration is equivalent to the number of enemy male commanders in battle times 2 seconds. And the target lineup selection prioritizes the lineup with the most troops disarmed status unable to use normal attacks. So this is really something that <clears throat> would be nice if you would hit a male lineup. Because if you would hit a female lineup, there will be no disarmed status on any commander. So that's also something to keep in um, keep in mind. And if you hit the other lineup, and it has male commanders, for every time the active army skill is activated, there's a 50% chance. So if there is only one male commander, it will be a 50% chance for two seconds. Which is not that much. So you really need to have a full male lineup to make it really worth it. And if it's worth it, then yeah, you can end up having then a commander, let's say a commander, the troops of the commander being silenced for 10 seconds. Which is then more or less the entire duration between two single active army skills. So, yeah, that's, that's interesting. So let's have a look at her in the, the tavern. I have her in grey, so I already can have a look at something. Level 1, which means I wasn't really interested at all. Because if you would have her 2 stars, she would have an increase in aptitude, finance and command. So... There's not really much point to get her to two stars. If you want to awaken her, you have to go all the way. Otherwise, it's not worth it. So, yeah. Will I be interested in getting her to um, four stars? Well, if this Thorn of Rose would be working on any commander, then I would say yes. That would be definitely worth it. However, this is this is a very tricky one. If you're fighting an all-female lineup, basically having Marjorie in your lineup will be completely useless because she will not do anything. So you really have to fight a male lineup. If you're fighting a male lineup and you know you're fighting a male lineup, then, then it will be very interesting uh, to have her in a female lineup. So personally, am I going for it? Um, no. Um, her hidden ability effects are not that strong. If she would have a huge increase in total attack, health and defense, 
yeah, that would be a different story, but, but right now, no. And if I would have a four stars, then depending on knowing what the enemy will attack with, that's a bit too tricky for me. So I personally, I will wait with this to, um, to awaken this to four stars.